let's continue with our object session and in this session we are going to see what are the ways to display objects we have seen properties we have seen methods and also we have seen different ways of accessing properties and methods now we are going to see what are the ways to display objects whenever we are displaying object in the console we will be getting the entire object but when we are displaying on the browser then we will be getting this particular output object and inside this i will be getting object i will show you through practically so there are different ways of displaying object we can display using name property we are having name value pairs inside object using that name we have already seen that property can be displayed using dot operator using property and also using expression so using that we can display the object using loops okay control statements we have not seen but i will be showing you a simple example so that you will understand how to access object values using loop then using this object global we will be accessing object dot values using this also we can display the object and finally using this json stringify you don't have to worry about json and you don't have to go inside json to understand object these are the ways of displaying object so whichever you want you can use but it's not like you have to use all the four whenever it is necessary we will be using these methods it's not like we have to use object dot values or we have to use loops using properties also we can easily display the values so i'm just showing you what are the ways to display objects let's see practically and understand all of this so i have opened my vs code editor and here i am having my browser and also i have opened the console now i have written here how to display objects in javascript there are basically four ways by name by looping by object dot values and finally by using json dot stringify method one by one we are going to understand now this is my object my data inside this i am having all these properties and for each property i am having the value now using this name now we have already seen these are the name value pairs this is the name this is the value so using the name we can get the values of object so first let me just write here console console dot log and inside this first let me just print my object my data i will save this i will be getting my entire object as i told you whenever we are printing on this browser then we will be getting object object let me just show you i will be writing document dot write and inside this i will be printing my data i will save this now you can see i will be getting this result whenever we are printing on this then we will get object object but when we are trying to display in console then we will be getting our object as a result so you should not get confused why we are getting this two results whenever we display this entire object on our browser we will be getting this result but when we display in the console we are going to get our object now we are going to access the object using this name value i will copy the same thing i am just going to write here dot f name i will save this i will be getting the result as kaiser okay using this name also we can access the object values now in place of this suppose if i just give here square brackets and here let me give here l name i will save this now i will be getting this l name is not defined so what i will do i will just wrap inside this double quotes i will save now i will be getting the result using expressions also we have seen how to access 
but these are the ways we can access object values inside javascript using name property now next we are going to see how to access inside the loops loops if you are not aware you don't have to worry in this i am just going to show you for in loop later on we are going to study more about loops we have for loop while loop do while loop but only to understand this how to display object we will be using simple one that is for in loop so now i have just created this one i will comment this entire thing now inside this loop what i have done only to get the data only to get this particular space for this data variable i am assigning the empty string for i have created one more variable this is the variable i am telling this variable is inside this my data my data is nothing but my object so whenever i print this one data my data value is empty string it will be concatenated with this first one so it will be taking the first value first value is kaiser it will be concatenated with this i will be getting space now kaiser and space is the value of data again i will come i will take the second value kanam kaiser space kanam will be the second data okay this is how my loops keeps on running now this my loop data variable will be having these values whatever value we are having inside object it will be containing these values so one by one it will access it will store it will display so again it will access this it will store it will display again access store display again access store display so now when i just display inside the browser i will be getting you can see all the values whatever values we are having here that is displayed i got this result now let me just display my object here this is my object now i just want to display the data i will copy this i will remove this i will save now you can see all the values whatever values we are having here that is displayed here okay, this is the second way of accessing values inside the loop let me just comment this one now you should always remember here we have used dot property to access these values but here whenever we are using inside the loop we will always wrap inside this square brackets and we are not going to give any double quotes because this is a variable this is not the value but whenever we are accessing this one using this name value we will be giving like this double quotes but as this is a variable whenever we are giving inside the object we will not wrap inside the double quotes as well as we will not be writing dot variable name because we always write dot property name we never give this dot variable name because this is a variable we have given here let we have created one variable so we are just passing this variable and this variable will be having all the values of this object one by one it will be taking so whenever we are using loops we should always use this one square bracket inside that directly we are passing this variable name we are not going to write object name dot variable name okay this will be wrong so next we are going to see about object dot values now inside this what we will do we are having one object my data and whenever we are giving this i am just assigning to one variable data so now what happens whatever result i get that i will be getting in an array format now inside this values i just have to pass my object name now let me just display this console data you can see as an array i got now this data is nothing but this is my array and it is having all the values i will comment this one now here directly i have got the result because whenever we display data inside the array the data will not be wrapped inside square bracket whenever we are displaying in the browser but when we display in console we will be getting we can clearly see it is an array so let me just show you using simple example let color 
I will be creating let color is equal to green and blue. Okay, I am just adding two values. And below this, let me just write here document document dot write. Inside this, I will be writing color. I will save. You can see directly I am getting the values. I am not getting any square brackets whenever we are displaying normal array. So in the same way, when we use this object values and when we are displaying the data, we will be getting the same data. Whatever values we are having here that will be displayed okay now let suppose let me just show you this inside the console i will come log color i will save now inside console you can see we will be getting this array format but whenever we are displaying inside this we won't get okay the same process goes for objects as well now this data is nothing but an array but the data type we have already seen, the data type of arrays is object because in JavaScript, everything is an object. Let me comment it out. This is our third way. And finally, our fourth way, json.stringify. Inside this, we are just going to pass the object name. Now, what we have seen, this object will be converted into array when we are using object.values. But when we are using this json.stringify, this whatever value we have assigned, this value will be converted to string. So you should always remember, my data will always remain my object. But for whichever the value is assigned, this variable will change its data type. So this will be the array. So in the same way, this data, when we are using this json.stringify, this will be the string. Let me just uncomment this. I will save this. Now you can see this is my string. I will be getting in this form. The output will be in this form. Now if I just show you the data type, type of type of data. I will save this type of data is string. In the same way, if I just show you type of my data, that will always be an object because my data I have not changed. This json.stringify, I have used this my data values, I have assigned to this data variable. So whenever I am printing this data, I will be getting this result. And when I check the type, I will get the string. And for this my data, I will get the data type as object. Now if I just print here my data, let me just show you my data. My output will not be changed. It will always be an object. Whatever value I have given here, the same thing I will be getting as my result. And you can see prototype is object. But for this one, object.values, we were getting prototype as array. Let me show you. I will save this. Data is already defined. Okay. Let me comment this one. You can see now the prototype is array. These are the basic difference and these are the minor things which will be very helpful when we are accessing object, when we are displaying object using different ways. So you should be familiar with this. You don't have to by heart each and everything, but you should be aware of these concepts because in JavaScript, objects plays a very, very important role and objects are very important. Okay, this is not the end of object. There are multiple things which has to be learned in object. Once you are comfortable with object, you will be able to write your own logic. You will be able to start writing your own applications. Just practice more of objects and you will definitely understand every bit of object in JavaScript.